What's up, Odooers? Today we'll be taking a look at how you can use Odoo CRM app to generate reports to analyze your sales team's performance. This can be used to group and filter across sales teams and metrics, quantify performance analytics such as expected revenue, and see how well sales teams are performing overall. So let's dive into our database to see how it's all done. We'll start by taking a look at the sales team dashboard where we can view the overall metrics of our sales teams. To get there, I'll select sales and then teams. Here I can see cards with some nice summarized metrics for each sales team in my database. Let's take a look at our first one for our generic sales team. At the top of the card, we can see the sales team name as well as the email address associated with it. To the right, we can see the number of open opportunities, number of overdue opportunities, how many quotations are associated with this team, as well as the amount of orders to invoice. It's worth noting that depending on your pipeline, other useful metrics such as the amount of abandoned cards to recover will also appear here. Next to each of these metrics is the relevant expected revenue. The currency used here will match the currency you already have set up with your database. So if we want to take a closer look at any one of these metrics, we can click on it to see the list of entries. Let's take a look at our open opportunities right now. We're taken to a Kanban view of all of our open opportunities for this team. You might be asking, how do I know this is what I'm looking at? Well, the way Odoo shows you these opportunities is by setting a set of search filters. We can see them at the top here. We can see in the first filter that this is for our sales team. And Odoo then sets another filter to only show open opportunities. These filters work together, so we're only shown open opportunities with our sales team attached. Pretty cool, isn't it? All right, let's head back to the sales team analysis using the breadcrumbs. All we have to do is select teams. Underneath all the metrics we just looked at, we can also see a nice bar chart to show how many new opportunities enter the pipeline each day. This is great for getting a feel for the sales team's performance at a quick glance. To get a look at the overall pipeline, we can use the, you guessed it, the pipeline button. Just like before, you'll notice how Odoo used search filters to show us only the opportunities assigned to the specific sales team. So the Kanban view is great for seeing how many opportunities are in each stage and for being able to simultaneously move opportunities between each stage, just like so. However, Odoo also offers a ton of different views that can be used to better understand the pipeline. Let's start by switching to the list view, which displays all of our opportunities in a nice columned list. I've been mentioning that Odoo uses the search bar to filter results the whole time, and that was an important reason. By setting our own custom filters, we can take a much more powerful and custom approach to analyzing our sales team's performance. Each view offers different perspectives of analysis, and the list view is particularly useful for creating groups. Let's see why. Let's say I want to analyze metrics across multiple sales teams. To do that, I'm going to remove the sales team filter. And then by removing that, this is going to show results for all teams. To start setting our own groups and filters, we can click the down arrow here in the search bar. And here we can see our filters in the left column and our group by functions in the middle column. Let's start by grouping everything by sales team. And now things get interesting when we nest groups. So when I click on salesperson, I can see in the filter at the top that there's an arrow between the two group by functions, indicating that they're nested. So when I click on LATAM sales, for example, to open up the dropdown, I can see all the opportunities are further grouped by the salesperson associated with it. We can also see the number of opportunities in the parentheses next to their name and the expected revenue from each salesperson in the expected revenue column on the right. To further hone in on our results, let's add another filter. Opening that same drop-down menu again, I'll click on Ongoing. Notice how a few opportunities disappeared? This is because we're only seeing opportunities that have been neither won or lost. Now, this is great. Because let's say we have a more complex pipeline. In this case, a more visual report might be better. Let's see what this looks like by switching to our graph view. 
The filters we set up are still active, so we can see each sales team as an individual bar in this chart, and each bar is divided by the salesperson, according to the legend here at the top. We can also switch to a pie chart by clicking on the pie chart icon. And this gives us a really cool and new interesting perspective on our report compared to the list view. It also looks like Mitchell Admin is seriously crushing it. Now, what if we only care about breaking down the raw numbers? Well, the pivot table is perfect for that. And here on the right, we can just click that option and see our sales team and people on the left with some revenue metrics here in the column section. I'd like to structure our grouping a little differently for this report. So let's remove the current filters, then open up the search bar drop down once again. And this time I'm gonna select sales team and salesperson. And we're also gonna sort this by stage. Looking back at the table, we see our new grouping on the left. This gives us a nice numerical breakdown of the opportunities of opportunities across different stages that are assigned to sales team members. We can also click on the number in the count column of any of these rows to view the opportunities related to it. For example, let's click on the count number in the new category for Mitchell Admin. From here, we can click on any opportunity to go to that specific opportunities form. But for now, I'll just use the breadcrumbs to get back to the pivot table. It's also worth noting that we can also add categories to the pivot table by clicking on any of the cells with a plus sign in the far left column. For example, we can click on the proposition cell for Mitchell Admin and then select medium. And when we do, we'll see how every opportunity was created in that stage. To summarize everything we just learned, let's take a look at the standard report on our sales team's performance. I'll start by going to the graph view to see the results more visually and make sure we have the bar chart selected. Next, I'll clear out any of my filters from the search bar and open the dropdown. Then we'll group this by sales team, salesperson again, and this time we're gonna do creation date and we'll select quarter beneath the grouping. I'll also filter our results by selecting one here in the filter section. And altogether, this shows only one opportunities grouped by sales team, salesperson, and the quarter the opportunity was created in. Interesting. Looks like our LATAM sales team is leading our recent sales, and the majority of those sales are coming from Jose Garcia. Nice. To get a better look at the numbers, I'll switch over to our pivot table once again. And I'm going to remove the one filter. And this is so I can see the expected revenue for all stages of our pipeline in this quarter. Mitchell Admin is one of our best salespeople, so we'll want to give him our high revenue sales. Taking a look here, it looks like we can see he has a dominant share of expected revenue. If we click on the expected revenue for Mitchell Admin, we can see all the opportunities making up this revenue. Looks good to me, so we can just use the breadcrumbs to go back. Finally, I want to save this report, so I'll open up the search drop down again and click on the save current search function. And let's name this sales team report. Then click save. Now to pull up the report again, I can just select it from my favorites tab. To save it outside the CRM app, just click the download button to save the report to my computer as an Excel file, which can be opened up in any spreadsheet software. And that'll do it for this video, doers. Today we looked at how to create and manage sales teams performance reports, view them in different formats, and save them for later. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.